The death of George Floyd incited marches and protests about racial inequality here and across the country. Those protests continue to this day. And at home on the North Shore, Sterling Property CEO Marty Mayer watched those protests on television and decided he couldn't stay silent anymore. So he wanted to do something, but he just didn't know what. Well, after talking with his family and co-workers, he sat down to write a letter, a letter that sparked a much bigger conversation than he anticipated. Photojournalist Eric Waldrop continues our series, The Talk, with just one voice. We tend to make decisions and judge things from the lens of how we lived and how we grew up. And I see that now with other people, and I just think that's wrong. I have been watching the recent displays of racial injustice happening in and across our country. I've questioned if there was anything I could say or do that would actually make a difference. It really started um, actually over Father's Day weekend when, when, my, uh, when, when my, all of my kids were at my house for Father's Day. And my two, my two younger kids, my millennial kids in their 20s, were over and they were very passionate about it. And they said, Dad, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to say? And I said, well, what do you mean? What am I going to do? What am I going to say? You know, what, what, what is there to do? What can I do? As a white male growing up during the time of segregation, racial discrimination and unrest, but they prompted me and they kept prompting me to think about it and um, until later that week I ended up um, confiding and asking two people in my company, um, you know, two people who I, I wanted to get their opinion because they've lived that. I see how far our country has come and yet how far we have left to go. I've reached the point where I've got to say something, you know, it does not feel right just to be silent at this point. <laughs> but then I was like, what do I say? <laughs> as I have grown older and wiser, I realize that I am just as much to blame for the inequalities and injustices of the world as anyone else. It's just a sad thing I'm in at the keyboard here, and I started. We're all guilty of the status quo mentality. It just, with all the societal, it just kind of flowed from there. But these ways no longer serve our community or us. Not to, in any way, think that I can, you know, I can solve the problem by any means, and you know, and I realize that it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a bigger problem, but you know, that doesn't mean that you, you shouldn't do anything. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. His words are more prescient today than ever. I think the thing that is lacking right now is that people don't communicate with each other. You know, they don't know what, <laughs> they don't know what it's like to be in the other's shoes. My hope is that the new generation can correct the issues created and tolerated by mine. I'm hopeful that we're in a period of time that's changing. I'm hopeful uh, that, that the, the next generation and the generation following that generation, who are much more engaged and much more socially aware and much more politically astute in terms of how things get done. My hope as a father, grandfather, and CEO of a company is that I can make some small difference in this world. Maybe it is important, you know, to say something, you know, that there are people that respect what you say and to say something to at least start the dialogue. And, uh, and it's, if anything, it's now made me say, feel like, okay, I did that. Now what? And Mr. Mayor is currently uh, looking for ways to use his voice and influence to tackle the issue of systemic racism. He says writing the letter has taught him to listen better to understand each person's background, and he hopes to lift up more diverse voices in the workplace.